Hey there guys, it's Rick Hutes here with Ergon Web and Ergon Web TV, and I have something very cool in the box. I haven't even cracked the seal yet. This is sent to us by Air Venturi. Let's take a look. Before we get started, I want to say thank you to Air Venturi and also tell you guys a little bit about what they do. They're an importer manufacturer kind of group. They bring in some very cool stuff to the US air gunning market. But where they really shine is that they help you if you're a small dealer and you want to get into selling air guns, they are the group you want to work with. They will get you set up. You'll be able to order products, drop ship products, all kinds of cool things, get great deals so that you can help people in your area get into air guns. They are the group you want to work with. They are a great group of guys and gals that can really help you jumpstart your business if you want to get into selling high-powered air rifles and all the accessories and stuff. Check out www.airventury.com. They're who I buy from, and I can't recommend them enough. Now, let's jump right into this right here. This is the Steamboat. Now, if you guys watched the Airgun Web TV episode where Ben went to the Pyramid Air Cup, you saw this little beast because he got to shoot it. Well, Ben is a little bit jealous because I actually have one. So we're going to crack open the seal here and see what this looks like. Haven't even started this yet. Let's see. I'll pull this open. Oh, okay. Looks like this is going to open like this. Okay. That's step one. We got step two. Oh, check that out. All right, I'm going to spin this around so you guys can see what I got here. All right, so. There it is. How cool is that? All right, so let me go ahead and take all this stuff off the box now. All right, so we have the steamboat itself. It's a little beefy, I'll tell you that much. And then we've got the manual. I'm pretty sure we're going to need that. A bunch of Allen keys. This one came with the tank. You need this because what's cool about this thing is that if you're used to crossbows, you know that they can be a little bit fatiguing trying to cock them all the time or they have a hand crank. This one, you push a button and the air from this tank actually cocks your bow for you. Very, very awesome. And that's what this thing's all about. I'll put this in there like that. What we got in here? Gosh, we're not done yet. We got more stuff in here. That's heavy. All right, so we got CO2. Uh, I'll get into that here in a minute because what this enables you to do is pretty awesome. I think that is everything. I hope we've got more stuff in here. Okay, more pieces and parts. Goodness. Okay, and more paperwork. Uh, we've got the all important arrows. We're going to need those. I should guess we should call them bolts because they're for a crossbow. And that looks, no, nope, no, nope, we've got uh, another one. Let's see, is that it? I believe that's it. So, pretty well packaged, everybody. That worked out pretty slick. There's all the pieces, parts. So, what I'm going to do now because I'm very green to such items and I do not want to break something this cool and awesome. There it is. I'm going to take a few minutes and look over the manual. We'll be right back. All right. So obviously pretty daggum cool here, guys. So. Who would want something like this? Well, if you're a bow hunter and you like shooting crossbows, I think you're really going to like this because it gives you the ability to go out and almost just target shoot with a crossbow and not have any fatigue. That is pretty awesome. But before we do that, we got to get the thing put together. And that's where this comes into place. Uh, this is your manual. And it looks like, given the technicalities of this uh, being completely new to it, uh, this is something you're going to want to go through. Okay, so do not skip this step. Don't assume you know what you're doing. Put the time in, read the manual uh, so that you don't break something or hurt something or hurt yourself or something else. So definitely get onto this. Now, one of the other things I wanted to mention because when I was talking to Ervin Turi, they made a point of telling me is that this is set up for this. This is the Onyx uh, Steambow, Onyx Crossbow, just a recurve bow. 
there's a subset of crossbows that this system will actually work with. That I think is pretty sticking awesome. So this is not the only thing that you can get this system for. You actually buy this separate. And if you have the right crossbow, you can actually make it work. So go to Air Venturi and find out all the different models that that can work with. So one of the first things we got to do is it looks like we need to start the assembly part. And that's going to start with the limbs here. So we're going to pop these pins out. Pretty easy. We'll line these up. Put them right in there like that. Okay, so those are now lined up. That was pretty straightforward. So if you're going to use CO2, these CO2s, you're going to need this adapter. It comes with it here. So this screws into this, or screws into that, and then you can go ahead and use CO2 to cock your steamboat. But I am going to use a bottle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hand this off to my assistant. Assistant, come here. Assistant is coming. And I'm handing that to my assistant who's going to go fill that for me. We'll be right back. All right, assistant, do we have a full bottle? We do. All right. I have now a full inventory bottle. Now this is regulated. 3,000 PSI here. It's probably about 900 or so, maybe 1,100 going out the other side. Don't know. Doesn't matter. It is what it's supposed to be. And now this simply goes right here. There it is. Now. We are basically this close to being able to go shoot this. Uh, it looks like we got an adjustable kind of an AR-15 style. That's pretty cool. Let's see here. Surely shoulder's nice. Oh, man. <laughs> All right, assistant, we need apples. <laughs> just kidding. All right, so now what we're going to do... Do we want to just go shoot it or do we want to finish setting it up? I guess we'll finish setting it up. So we're not going to try cocking it yet. We're going to flip this over on the underside here. All right, and I bet you, assistant, we need a Phillips head screwdriver, please. By the way, my assistant's name is Corey. Hello, Corey. Hello. Yes. Now go away, assistant. <coughs> okay, get back to the camera. All right. There we go here. All right. Pretty simple stuff, theoretically. One would think. Ah, yes. There it is. There it is. Now we're all locked up there. These guys will slide in here. Looks like you're set up to have broadheads already this little holder here so that's good to go all right so we are officially very close to now getting ready to actually go put some arrows in here and shoot something I think the next thing we need to do is figure out what we're going to do for a sight so I believe I've got a hawk red dot Corey can you go grab that for me he has it. Awesome sauce. Thank you, sir. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and drop 
this on here like that that looks so cool okay let me spin it around here all right like that like that like that now well, let's just see how this looks oh that is beautiful well that's gonna be it for now guys next video we're gonna do some shooting with this beast but that was pretty easy to set up a couple pins a couple screws throw a scope on it make sure you can fill the bottle or run your co2 whatever you're gonna do but now we're ready to go shoot our steamboat stay with us for our next video guys this is rick utzer thanks for watching